Good morning guys, good morning internet, good morning YouTube, hi hello my name is EJ and I am back again with another narrated art time lapse video for us to take a look at and you know dissect and inspect and you know critique maybe a little you know figure out what I did good and what I did great and you know what I did not so great <laughs> so yeah uh, so yeah this particular artwork I did for uh, once again conceptart.org man do I miss that site <laughs> seriously I was on that site for a long time but anyways this is one of the artwork I did uh, for the daily sketch group in conceptart.org and the prompt for that day was moon operator and I could tell you right now the idea is immensely tricky for me because when I first um, kind of envision in my head you know the words moon operator kind of made me think of like some mechanical engineer of some sort you know sitting in a steampunk room full of levers and gauges and steam and you know he like operates the moon <laughs> literally like the moon up in the sky you know to you know race up and down and you know whatnot at the sky so yeah that's kind of what I envision you know originally it was just basically this guy in some room just like pressing buttons making sure that the moon would rise at night and as much as I wanted to pursue the idea the problem with that idea was that I can't show the moon you know so I, I obviously did not go with that idea obviously so but that was my initial image in my head but somehow for some odd reason you know I ended up thinking of a surgeon you know like someone who is operating on a person but instead of operating in a person he's operating in the moon so technically you know a moon surgeon is also a moon operator so I figured I kind of sort of fulfilled the prompt <laughs> the request of the prompt um, but yeah, but the good thing about the daily sketch group is that, you know, it's all just for fun. It's not like a mandated, you know, client work where you had to stick to a certain particular guideline. It's all just free form interpretation of like someone's prompt, basically, which is what I like. And so this is what I ended up drawing a moon surgeon, a moon operator someone who's trying to fix the moon because it's broken and it's not rising up in the sky anymore so they had to take it into this operating room and you know get them all fixed up and whatnot so yeah and I think it's very interesting <laughs> that I drew a surgeon because you know with all of the uh, COVID thing that's going on you know and everyone like wearing masks and whatnot it's just I, I think this is like an interesting <laughs> video to have picked beforehand because literally I've picked this beforehand before the whole COVID thing um, exploded so yeah um, <laughs> I think it's just interesting um, and by the way I mentioned in, in my earlier video how I thought that the COVID thing was gonna get downplayed after two weeks of um, social distancing uh, but I was wrong. It's still going on. Uh, so hopefully in a few months, like it would die down. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I hope everyone's doing okay so far in this weird time that we're going through. But enough about that. That's all I could say. I hope you guys are all safe and sound and whatnot. Uh, let's talk about the artwork. I chat so much. <laughs> oh yeah, I chat so much. Anyways. So, um, basically what you just saw me do was just, I did a very rough sketch, a quick sketch, and now I wanted a far more refined sketch for my doctor and nurses. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm just quickly sketching them in. Um, it's... It, you know, I go through phases where sometimes my line sketches are like nice and clean and then sometimes they're very scratchy. 
Um, I, I can't really pinpoint as to how often I switch this. I guess it's just a certain mood, you know? I mean, and it's not necessarily like something's upsetting me. So like my, you know, sketchy, my sketching would get like all sketchy and more rough versus nice and clean like the way it is now. Um, I don't really know. Sometimes I just get into these funky moods where, you know, I change up my line style but anyways this is like one of my more refined line styles and I really like the way I did it um, but yeah anyways <laughs> I just kind of just noticed that and I just thought about it so but anyway so I did a quick sketch and and then for the doctors I did a, a second pass on the sketch just to refine it some more um, I did it very nice and clean and that's the reason why I mentioned that whole nice and clean thing because I just kind of noticed it and I was like wow I really like that line sketch I thought that was a good line sketch um, and after that what I did was of course uh, this was one of my older techniques sometimes I still do this sometimes I don't but it's like the two-tone approach it's like the basically the Mike Mignola approach uh, comic book artist um, where he really simplifies the whole color scheme into the dark and light and this really helps me a lot like set the light tone and my value range in my composition um, I've practiced this quite a lot way back in 2018 and 2019 that I kind of got like a better sense of it instinctively now that you know half the time I don't even do this anymore uh, but every now and then I still do but anyways this is what this whole two-tone three-tone thing is it's just to a get me a layer with a bunch of shapes where all my lights and darks are set so I can always just go back to that layer and quickly marquee select what I needed look at that that's such a nice good value range right there I mean that's like totally Mike Magnolia right there um, I could print this in a comic book <laughs> but anyways um, so yeah I, I really want that one layer where all my lights and darks are and then what I do is what I'm doing right now <laughs> what I'm about to do is basically just throw in a bunch of colors and go nuts and go crazy like the way I am right now this is my random mech brush apparently the mech brush was created by um, Oh, the pepper artist, David Revoy. Why could I not think of your name? David Revoy. Yeah, David Revoy was the guy who came up with this brush, apparently. And I think this brush is just so lovely. But I do it all the time as like one of the first brushes that I use where I just throw in a bunch of colors. You just saw me do that. And now, after just randomly putting in colors, you saw me select my the light area. And then I selected all that random mech crazy layer brush area and then just lighten up the light areas and darken the dark areas and really just pump up the lights and you know kind of darken the darks and then I photo bash an image into this painting just to get a few more color information in uh, I don't do this anymore a whole lot again this was just like an experimental period back in you know 2018 2019 where I just go crazy with colors um, sometimes I still do sometimes you know I, I still use this approach but for the most part I've you know don't but as soon as I do that you know I just combine all of this crazy craziness all into one layer and start smudging now again I mentioned this in one of my other videos this is kind of like a pastel approach you know um, if you work with soft pastels and whatnot you kind of blend colors in by smudging them just to get like that whole nice gradation of colors and really this is why I do it and just to get like some sort of smooth blending going on kind of just unify the photos all together um, but the whole main thing with this whole smudging thing though is that you know I, I make sure to preserve my basic shapes you know like you can see the room that they're in right now like that's all pretty much a mess and I just let that go like I didn't really care if I preserve the majority of those shapes because they're all in the background anyway so I'm all just gonna 
you know create details on it like just random details and it's not the focus of the painting but now that i'm working in the foreground because you see me move into the foreground you see that i'm really trying my best to preserve the shapes like you see like that computer monitor um medical equipment in the background behind the doctors you see me like try to preserve that shape um the little rolling cart that the earth is on the planet earth is on i'm like trying to preserve that shape and then you'll see me like smudge all the doctors and the nurses and you'll see me try to preserve that shape see i'm working at that medical equipment in the back now and you see me smudge them but making sure that i don't destroy all the details and then now i'm smudging planet earth and you know i'm kind of like blending all the colors but trying to preserve all you know the whole shape of the earth so that all so that the shape reads and so basically what i just do after i'm done with this whole smudging thing is that i start the detailing process just by you know making everything look nice making everything look nice and clean and not so smudgy so yeah uh, i'll just be smudging for the next few minutes and then i'll just tell you all about uh, my process later on So I'm fixing planet Earth right now because planet Earth just got a little too green and I'm about to turn it into blue and I'm trying I was trying to remember how I did the blue thing and now I see I just added a blue layer and put it in opacity and kind of merged it back in and added a little bit more highlights uh, to the Earth so that it reads a little better. Um, man that looks nice actually. So yeah, um, I remember when I was doing this scene, when I was drawing this, and right before I was drawing this scene, I was trying to figure out what an operating room looks like. Like I know what the operating table and like all the nurses and the doctors, like, you know, they're all crowded in an area in the center of the room, you know, like I kind of have a visual of that in my head. But for the life of me, like, I could not um, figure out, like, what the rest of the background would look like. And I don't know if I did research before I started uh, drawing this illustration. I think, but I think halfway through this, you know, at some point, like, okay, you know, I just realized I didn't pause at all at any time during this video. So more than likely, I did try to do research right before doing this. But it must have been really, really quick, you know, where I just try to look up an operating room and see, like, what the background is. Because I couldn't, I couldn't imagine in my head what, what is there. You know, like, I know there's medical equipment. And, like, I got that medical equipment down, like the one that I just worked on. But as for the shelves on the right, that's currently on the right, like, I don't, <laughs> for the life of me... I could not remember like does the operating room have shelves like those where they store medical equipment like I don't know you know 
So all of the stuff in the background is just straight up made up, you know, straight up made up in my head. But the best thing about it, though, is that I knew everything was going to be dark. And so I could just hide everything in the dark. But yeah, I remember the background being like very confusing in my head. Like, what am I supposed to do there? <laughs> like, I just remember thinking that. But anyways, I started obviously detailing the detailing process. And so I basically just kind of did a few highlights on the background to indicate that there's some shelves there and maybe that there's some cabinets on top, you know. I just quickly did it and I got over, you know, doing it like pretty quick. And, you know, I moved to the medical equipment on the right now, like the medical equipment just moved back to the right. Uh, that medical monitor equipment thing, I'm not even sure what that is that's all just straight up made up in my head as well um i detailed that very quick you know and again i mentioned this this is my detailing process once i go back over my smudged layer basically what i do is i delineate my edges which means just like marking my edges making it a little bit sharper instead of fuzzier you know um, some edges I keep fuzzy if it's in the background and I want it blurred or not or out of focus I keep it blurred but for the ones that's kind of closer into the foreground and it's more in focus obviously I needed to delineate it make it sharper make it clearer so basically I that's what I do I also accentuate the shadows if the shadows needed accentuating uh, in this particular case I think the photo is dark enough that I didn't even really do that and then the third step that I do during my detailing process is I uh, add highlights and for this one I added some highlights because you know it's too dark and some areas needed highlighting you saw me just add a highlight on her but yeah I just repeat this process those three step process delineate accentuate shadows add highlights over and over in areas of the illustration that I needed to work on so obviously I did that and all the medical equipment and all the tables and on earth and now that I'm on the focal point of of the painting the illustration you know I zoom in some more so that I I could see better on what I'm doing um, so yeah I'm just repeating the process again But yeah, so I, I basically just worked on the surgeons or the nurses. I haven't worked on the doctor yet. And um, I remember like thinking that all the scalpel and the, the moon slice, you see me work on the moon slice right now, that part of the moon that got cut out and it's laid out on the table and just sitting there. Like I remember thinking that you know, I hope that this reads very well for people because it's so small, you know. I don't even know if it reads well. And then the medical tray that the nurse is holding with all the scalpels, you know. I, I was hoping that the scalpel reads well so that it's obvious, hey, this is an operation. Um, if, even though really in all hindsight, like the doctor and the nurses all wearing face masks and all wearing aprons and headgear. Uh, and the doctor like standing over the moon. I mean, I think that's all like obvious anyways that they're operating in the moon But yeah, just to make sure that all those details uh, Those little minor details read well And nicely and that's why I delineate my edges and sharpen my edges just so that they could just read a little bit better especially since they're so small and minute in my photos in my illustration but yeah, I'm just working on the foreground, making it look nice and sweet.
So I'm very close to uh, finishing this piece and wrapping it up. Obviously I'm just adding my final touches and detailing my final touches. I think like the last thing I detailed was like the surgeon's hands. Um, it looked really wonky to me so I like fixed it up and whatnot. But yeah, this this image is very close to getting done. There I am working on the hand. Um, I really love the lightning scheme of, of this illustration, the speed paint, this very, very quick impressionistic style painting. Um, it was done very quick, it was done very fast and messy but clean at the same time. So it, it's kind of like a very nice juxtaposition. Uh, yeah, but that's it. This moon operator speed paint is done uh thank you guys for watching this with me uh i'll see you guys in the next video like and subscribe good night <music>